Why? Why what? Why do we have to roll? Shall we start, Matt, by first uh, officially thanking Brian for the jungle that he set up for us, or what shall we do here? Thank you, Brian. Brian, this is the part where you say, you're welcome. I'm glad that I was able to create a comfortable and lovely environment for you to record in, Miriam. Brian? Okay, ready? We're, we're, we're gonna do a clap now. Oh, this is how like Arab men, like we're, we're at a wedding or whatever. This, I swear to God, this is how they clap it like. <laughs> so like, it's very dramatic. So today what I thought that we would do is that we would create an ombre lip. So what an ombre lip does is it gives the illusion of like a fuller lip. And so I think that everyone wants nice, full, juicy lips without having to pay a lot of money to get them. So are we ready to get juicy, fuller lips together? Yay! Yay! So like I said, are we ready to get juicy, fuller lips? So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the NYX lip liner in Lolita. Okay, ready, Matt? Where are we? Okay, whatever. Okay, so what I like to do when I do lip liners, I like to fully line my lips and then shade in. Like remember in grade one when you were taught how to color? Color around the edges and shade within the lines. I actually hate doing lips, side note. Even on my clients, I hate it. Well, I'm with my porn star clients, they're all DSL. <laughs> I've lost the lipstick. Oh, here it is. Matt, I just want to point out that the lipstick was here the whole time. You were the closest person to it. You failed to see it. Therefore, you're a failure in life. So whenever you think that you have a purpose, remember this moment. You're a failure. Excuses, excuses, Matt. Those don't belong here. So now that we've lined and filled in the lips with Lolita from NYX. We're gonna take Dosa Color in Brick. I actually really love this color. This is one of my go-to colors. Oh, let's focus. Okay, there we are. And then I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? Wait. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply one layer all around on top of what I have already done. So the reason that my lips don't look as voluptuous as you would like, Matt, is because I haven't ombre them. And the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to get more voluptuous lips. But we can't skip ahead. You have to trust the process. I've lost another lipstick. If I was a lipstick that looks like this, but in a lighter color, where would I be? Let's see, Matt, if you can regain your failure ness 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I always have, see, I always have lipstick on my teeth. That is not true. Okay, so now we're gonna ombre the lips with the Stila Angelo. So basically with ombre, it's kind of like a faded effect. So the lighter color makes it kind of stand out more and the darker color makes it first. So the focus of this light color is going to be in the center of my lips so that it kind of gives it a little bit of a pout. Let's go. So basically where the two colors meet, I'm just tapping it to kind of make it fade away. Okay, lastly, we're going to take Strike Gold by Tart, and we're gonna put it on top of the light color that we just did, again, just to give it a little bit more. Okay, so just on top of what we just did. Okay, so the lips are done. Off record. All right, guys, so this is how you ombre the lips. So the lighter color in the middle, and then it kind of just fades into the darker color. I'm gonna show you guys one more trick. Wait! But wait, there is more. So the more is, I'm gonna show you one little trick that also helps to give you luscious, voluminous lips, and that's by contouring just under your bottom lip. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Hourglass Foundation Stick in Sable, and I'm gonna do a line just under here. Okay, so first look at the before. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So a line just like that under. It looks like you have a soul patch. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna... So basically, I know it looks weird now, but basically what it's doing is creating a shadow effect. Okay, that's it. Good. So by creating that shadow underneath your lip, it gives the illusion of a plumper lip. It's a thing. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we focused on lips. Whoever wants luscious, voluminous lips, this is a video that's a must see. I taught you guys how to ombre the lips and then how to contour underneath the bottom lip to give the illusion of a poutier lip. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time. Okay, so did you get like a good shot of like the lips and stuff? Sure. Can you just...